Now start the parenthesis of you. Start marking the documents and tomorrow's And tomorrow you will have English, not science. So, okay, today two periods also. It is science. Tomorrow, English. Okay. Where have been stopped? Page number ninety-one. Ninety-one. Reproduction, isn't it? Okay. So morning we studied that all living organisms reproduce. They reproduce their egg one cell. If what will happen if any living organism doesn't reproduce? What would have been happened if it, if the living organisms reproduce their egg one cell? They will be endangered. Endangered means uh, their generation will be stopped. Means uh, afterwards there would be no. so all living things. Uh, all living things uh, have a life duration. Maybe uh, a few days or few months or few years and all. Isn't it? After all that, we have to die. Will be dead. All the living things will be dead after their life duration. So if they do not reproduce, what would happen next time? That type of generation wouldn't be there. If one mango tree is there and if it has produced so many mangoes, it will have a life duration, maybe 30 years or 50 years and all. So after that, if it, if it does not reproduce, what would happen? There will be no mango trees, isn't it? Yes, there will be no mango trees. So reproduction is must in living organisms. And even animals also, human beings also, they do not have any one segments, the generation will be lost. And in plants, we in animals we study, there are different ways, different methods are there, or in different ways they are reproduced. Some will lay eggs, some will deliver, means mammals and all, but they will give birth by delivery. Next. Some legs and some uh, creatures uh, like um, this one, uh, uh, earthworms and all, uh, by cutting their bodies. Means, uh, if, the, if they cut, cut their bodies, one part of the body will be separated from that and then it will become two. And from when, when it grows a little more adult, then again it will become two or three pieces. Means, uh, it will be separated like that way. Murni, murni, vashtam like pudi, pudi, jivig like jivig means uh, same only. Like that. In case of plants, you have studied in a earlier class, uh, uh, some plants will reproduce through seeds. Seeds will germinate and new plant will come. Some will reproduce through their uh, roots. From roots, new plant will come out. Some with the flowers and some we studied that brophilium and all. With the help of their leaves itself. In the leaves itself, a new plant will come. You know, do, do you remember Brophilium in the class? Yeah, it's becoming bigger. And I think in the next class, I will bring to your class and I will show you next Monday. Tomorrow we have science. So next Monday, if I remember, I will take it and I will show you. Okay. Miss, you yes. are in staying this class now. Eh, yes. eh? No, no, not in sister. Not in fifth and in sister class. No, sister class is number profilium. Profilium that they have taken to the staff room. It is in the staff room. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Some plants are reproduced through parts other than seeds. So in your example, a part of a potato with a bud grows into a new plant. This other we have studied in earlier classes. So plants also reproduce through cuttings. Would you like to grow a plant in this way by yourself? By cutting the stems, we will replant it and then new plant will come. 
a statutory file take a cutting from a rose or a mehendi plant, fix, fix it in the soil and water it regularly. What do you observe after a few days? What will happen? Adil, if you cut a stem of a rose plant and plant it in a soil, after, uh, water it, then after a few days, what will happen? It will grow. It will start to grow. Leaves will start to come, isn't it? Okay. It may not be easy to grow plants from cuttings. Do not be disappointed if your cuttings does not grow. Talk to a gardener if possible on the care of care to be given to cuttings to make them grow into plants. And see, you may not be knowing properly how to plant it, how big should be, or which type of stems should be cut and all. If you don't know, just ask your elders. Gardeners means here. Uh, there will be elders, your parents or neighbors and all, ask them, um, say, sir, how uh, big should be, uh, from which branch should be cut down or from which part should be cut like that and all. If you don't know. If you don't know, 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 if you don't know. Tender one another. Upon the Chodi Canary, the Lingi, a number of Paria, Mutha Kampa, the Kapri, the lay, okay. And you do tender and then down part. Down part of a cutty is the two edge number of the other, down part of the two number of the So living things produce more of their own kind through reproduction. It takes place in many different ways for different organisms. So these are the ah, next point moving. So do all the organisms move? Did you understand, underline that they reproduce? Living organisms reproduce? Yes. Next one is the living organisms move. In chapter 8, we, uh, we discussed the various ways in which animals move. They move from one place to another and also show other body movements. So, uh, where lesson eight, animals move from one place to another for different reasons. Uh, maybe to get food and all, uh, in order to uh, get a good shelter and all. So like that in different ways, they will move from one place to another. Um, in different ways also, some will fly, some will walk in two legs, some will walk in two, four legs, some will by jumping. Some will be running like that in different ways, crawling like that in different ways they will move also. Okay, this and uh, the plant mover. This a plant mover. Plant in a poor wall. Illa, alla. But she plants move, when you move to the machine, then the root mark illa. That is called the fixed channel, alla. It will not, uh, it's a roots uh, will be staying there, but roots will go under the soil. And in addition to the roots, in the morning, as I said, if you keep it in the shade, it will try to move to face the sunlight. Sunlight in the face, I mean, the roots. What about plants? Do they also move? Plants are generally anchored in soil, so they do not move from one place to another. However, various substances like water, minerals, and the food synthesized by them move from one part of the plant to other. And see, see, plants will not move, their roots are fixed there, and if anything happens for the roots, then what will happen? Plant will fall down, tree will fall down. Okay, so plants will not move to any places, but the uh, Non-living things like water, minerals, and all will move to the parts of the plant. Plant is a lava part like the water and minerals. So, our entire food is along there. All leaves, flowers, branches, every plant, every part of the plant here, it will move. And the food synthesized by them move from one part of the plant to other. Have you noticed any other kind of movement in plants? Opening or closing of flowers. Do you recall how some plants show movement in response to certain stimuli? See, that uh, this one, uh, that's me not plant or mimosa. So, do you know? 
touch me not or my musa my musa nu parayan allega touch me not ana todarud enna touch me not if you touch what will happen it will start to cry ningalo ingane illa irundho thodama na kaar kondirukke illa irundhi pillale chirikana kodirukida alle okay like uh, touch me not plant also when we touch what will happen it will start to cry and it will sleep and within few seconds also it will open it okay like that there are some flowers cell uh, flowers also when there is a sunlight it will open when there is sunset or when there is a darkness it will close some you guys have seen many flowers raavili aambothe le velichu varumbothenum adu ingane open aagum bloom rose maagu avadu naru poo kaanikunnad red bean endo alla sai krishna de vittu poo kaanikunnad kaanikunnad okay uh, when sunset aagum prakum adu ingane poondi nikku alle pala cheriyade ilagalu ingane undu during the day it will be completely open if you observe some plants you can see flower plants and all but but evening when the sunset is there when there is no sunlight it will start to close it but in the next day again it will open like that way okay pinne chala namla padichu like some flowers at night it will open smell will come it will open then during the day there will be no chala anda namal parayne പേരൊക്കെ പറയുന്നത് രാത്രി വിരിയുന്നു നിശാഗന്ധി എന്നൊക്കെ പറയുന്നത് അത് ഇരുട്ടായി കഴിയുമ്പോൾ അത് ഫ്ലവർ വിരിയും നല്ല സ്മെല്ല് വരും നെക്സ്റ്റ് മോർണിംഗ് ആകുമ്പോഴേക്ക് എന്ത് സംഭവിക്കും നോ സ്മെല്ല് മറ്റ് അങ്ങനെ ഇരിക്കും അടഞ്ഞിരിക്കും പിറ്റേ ദിവസം സിവിയ സന്ധ്യ ആകുമ്പോൾ പുറക്കും സോ ലൈഫ് ഇസ് വേ സ്റ്റിമിലിയോട് പ്രതികരിക്കുന്ന എന്താ ജോസിന് കയ്യിൽ എന്താ ഉള്ള ഓ ഓക്കെ So we also have some non-living things moving, of course. A bus, 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 a bus. What is that? A bus, 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 a bus. ഏഞ്ചൽ <laughs> ഒരു നമ്മുടെ ക്ലാസ്സില്ലാത്ത ഒരു ഒരാള് നമ്മുടെ ഇതിൽ മീറ്റിംഗിൽ വന്നിട്ടുണ്ട് എന്നിട്ട് ഈ പറയുന്നത് നീ എവിടെയാണ് വേറെ അറിയൂ ഏബൽ വേറെ അറിയൂ ഞാൻ വിചാരിച്ചു നീ നെയ്ജലിന് ഓടിച്ചു വിടാൻ പോയെന്ന നിന്നെ കാണുന്നില്ല we also have uh, some non living things moving of course a bus car a small piece of paper clouds and so on is there something different in these moments from the moments of living beings now see uh, we studied that the living things move but there are the things that move also like a car bus and all and is there any difference between that yes there is of course when it does not have petrol or diesel or any type of energy it will not move it will stop send it in. that someone has to force uh, someone has to give an energy for that then only it will move if a car does not have petrol or diesel will it move no if a paper if you are throwing or if you are throwing a ball if you don't use a um, force on that then will it move no if you have to throw like that you have to forcefully throw then only it will move if it is lying down it will not move അത് തന്നെ അത് മൂവ് ആകത്തില്ല നമ്മൾ അതിനെ ഫോഴ്സ് ആയിട്ട് എടുത്ത് അറിയുമ്പോൾ മാത്രമേ പോകുള്ളൂ ഇനി ഒരു കാറോ ജീപ്പോ ലോറി എന്തുമായിക്കോട്ടെ ഇഫ് ഇറ്റ് ഡസൻറ് ഹാവ് എനി ഫീൽ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ നോട്ട് മൂവ് ചെയ്യത്തില്ല അല്ലെ ഓക്കെ ദൻ ക്ലൗഡ്സ് ആൻഡ് സോ ഓൺ 
Is there and something different in these moments from the moments of living beings? There is such a variety of living organisms, but all of them show some common characteristics. As we have discussed, see, all these living organisms have this type of common features. First one was it needs food, it grows, it respirates, it, uh, all living organisms are having respiration, then it will reproduce, then it will respond to stimuli. These are the common features of living organisms. All living organisms are doing this. Which are those? Uh, I think our um, sana. Sana? Miss? Please unmute. Can you? Yes. Yes. What are the common features of a living organism? Only points, main points in a picture. Sir, no. Unmute, unmute, sir. Shahana, you are muted, so I can't hear. So not Shahana, Sana. Yes. Yes. What are the common features of living organisms? And the piano common features at the living organisms. The potential and the piano. Okay, Amani, can you hear clearly? Avani Sandosh? No. Grace, please unmute and say what are the common features of living organisms? Living organisms in the protective land of Yana main points Matra Marnamadi. Living organisms grow. Look in your textbook. Fastly, don't waste the time. Inside or not? My God, it rain there and under the side of the picture, under the Arithil and under the end of the building, it's a classic children in there. What were you listening then? What are the common features of living organisms? I'm asking. You find out, you yourself find out, Agnes. I won't give excuse for you. Living organisms in the particular characteristics and the piano of Parna Vana. I don't know, sister. Wait, let her find out what she was dreaming or not. And the kind of living organisms in the particular land that can come at another there. Living organisms grow. All living organ, 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 organism, or living organ. Okay, I'm going to say living things. All living thing will grow. All huh. living, all living thing will reproduce. Huh. All living things will move. Hmm. And the heading and answer. Need food, grow, respire, respond to stimuli. Reproduce and excretion. Grace, All living or all living things need food. All living things will grow. Hmm. Mm. All living things rest. Respire. Rest. Respire. Hmm. All living things respond to. Similar. 
only living things and as creation. Extra, extra, extra life, as creation. creation. As creation. Hmm. Okay. Next one, one more. Reproduce. Reproduce. Okay, okay. dear. In the other day, what is the matter? You can't carry the purpose for you. In a supplement, you can't drink Alice in Wonderland, you can't drink in Wonderland. Okay. Next, all living organisms move. Not all, but most of them will move. We see that all living things seem to have some common characteristics. They all need food, they respire, respond to stimuli, reproduce, show movement, and grow and die. So, in the page number 92, in the first paragraph, you can understand, underline those things also. There is such a variety of living organisms, but all of them show some common characteristics as we have discussed. Yet another common characteristic is that living beings die. All living things will die. Will it remain for a long time? No? Yes, it will all living things will die after a certain period. Some will be living for only for one day or some few hours or few days, few months and few years. Like duration is different for all living things. But anyway, all living things will die. Understand? Some trees will live nearly thousand years and all. Redwood and all will live. You, have, you might have seen the videos of the trees and all. In America, Latin America, there is a tree called the redwood. It will live nearly 1000 or 2000 years and all. So I have seen the video of that. The middle part of the tree has been cut and it has been made as a road. So car and the lorries and all other vehicles will move through that hole. That means it was, it is so bigger one. Understand? Okay. Abel, we know it. Now he is okay. I asked him on the other video. Provise. Provise did not respond at all. I asked him. He didn't respond. I think he is not spared. Yes. So all living things die also. Hmm? But particular types of organisms can survive over thousands of years only if they reproduce their own kind. One single organism may be die without uh, ever reproducing, but that type of organism can exist only if there, there is reproduction. That already I said, if they do not reproduce, what will happen? Their life, uh, that type of uh, living creature will uh, will be vanished from the earth. If it does not have a, it's a younger ones, that type of things. Now you might have heard about the dinosaur and all. That is not existing now, isn't it? Why? It cannot adjust the climate or food or some, some reason will be there. So, its generation has... Yes, yeah, so this is uh, Sana. Sana, you have to write your name. There is no name for you here. Did you, everybody mark your attendance? Yes, miss. Yes, okay. So next Revise, can you hear me? Revise, can you hear? Please on your video. Revise, you have to make a call to sir. After the class, please call sir. Okay, come back to the lesson. You see that all living things seem to have some common characteristics sir, that they and did you learn that? Food, respire, respond, stimuli, reproduce, show movement, and also die. Okay. 
do we find some non living things that also show some of these characteristics all these characteristics will be shown by some of the common non living things chela non living things me parayna ellam cheyyarundu ennu parayanal ella illa to no need to food and all food and matter are only non living thing food kodukanda avashyamilla pashe non living thing food kodukanda nasu namu machines like a bus lorry jeep and all need fuel then only it will work send it okay such that actually the food of the uh, food means here for them the food is the fuel okay so uh, then of this characteristics cars bicycle clocks and the water in the river move uh, the moon moves in the sky a cloud grows in size right in front of our eyes can such things be called living no we cannot where were you my dear revise Huh? And Newton cell out there, what do you hear? This cell radio is not coming out. Right? Yeah, I am just talking. So, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Okay. So, we find the non-living things. Same. See, we have to say car, bus, and all will move. Even uh, water will move. Means, uh, see, ocean, sand, all there is movement. and the clouds will grow but we can't say all these are living these are not living even though they have a moment or they will increase their size and the cloud clouds will become bigger and smaller but still we can't say they are living we ask ourselves do these objects also show all the other characteristics of living things they no need food and all but for a machines and all food and varumba nammade bandide lorry de okka food food and varitte it's a fuel maybe electricity aayikam allekil pin fuel aayittulla mattu petrol diesel polulla petroleum products aayikam whatever it may be but it does not grow sometimes are, all these characteristics are not found but some are found in general something that is living may have all the characteristics that we have discussed while non living things may not show all the all these characteristics at the same time so living things will have all these uh, characteristics but non living things will have one or two of these these characteristics not all living things and non living things terms things in a very different way ഈ മോളിൽ നമ്മൾ പറഞ്ഞ എല്ലാ കാരക്ടറിസ്റ്റിക്സും അതായത് നമ്മുടെ ഗ്രേസ് നമ്മളോട് പറഞ്ഞ ഇറ്റ് നീഡ് ഫുഡ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ഗ്രോ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ റീപ്രൊഡ്യൂസ് ഇറ്റ് റീസ്പയർ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ മൂവ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ റെസ്പോൺ ടു സ്റ്റിമിലി ഓൾ ദീസ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ഡൈ ഓൾ ദീസ് ഓൾ ദീസ് കാരക്ടറിസ്റ്റിക്സ് ആർ ഫൗണ്ട് ഇൻ ഓൾ ലിവിങ് തിങ്സ് എല്ലാം ഉണ്ടായിരിക്കും ഒരെണ്ണം മാത്രമല്ല എല്ലാം ഉണ്ടായിരിക്കും പക്ഷെ നമ്മൾ പറഞ്ഞ നോൺ ലിവിങ് തിങ്ങിൽ ഇതിൽ ഏതെങ്കിലും വൺ ഓർ ടു ഉണ്ടായിരിക്കും ഒന്നോ രണ്ടോ മൂന്നോ ആയിരിക്കും മനസ്സിലായോ നോട്ട് ഓൾ ഓക്കെ ഈസ് ദിസ് വേ ഓൾവേസ് ട്രൂ ടു ബി ഓൾവേസ് ഫൈൻഡ് ദറ്റ് ലിവിങ് തിങ്സ് ഡെഫിനറ്റ്ലി ഷോ ഓൾ ദ കാരക്ടറിസ്റ്റിക്സ് ഓഫ് ദ ലിവിങ് തിങ്സ് ദറ്റ് വി ഹാവ് ഡിസ്കസ്ഡ് ടു ബി ഓൾവേസ് ഫൈൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് നോൺ ലിവിങ് തിങ്സ് മെ ഷോ ഓൺലി സം ഓഫ് ദീസ് കാരക്ടറിസ്റ്റിക്സ് ആർ നെവർ ഓൾ ഓഫ് ദം നോ നെവർ ഓൾ ഓഫ് ദം ഓൺലി വൺ ഓർ ടു now it may it may grow clouds will grow but it does not eat food or it does not reproduce send it okay to understand this a little better let us look, look at the specific example consider any seed see moon is it a living yes seed is a living it can stay in a shop for months and not show any growth or some of the other characteristics of life see if you have a one dried grain like moon or groundnut or something like that you any dried seed if it remains in your in your shop or in your house in a bottle if it will remain for months or years at all it will not show any any characteristics of life in it but if you will put it in the soil what will happen then if you pour little water then soon it will start to sprout ഒരു വിത്ത് നമ്മൾ ഉണങ്ങി വിത്ത് നമ്മള് ഒരു മരത്ത് ഒരു കപ്പിനകത്തോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ കുപ്പിയിലോ ഡപ്പയിലോ ഇട്ട് വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ എത്ര നാൾ അത് ഇരുന്നാലും കേടാവാതെ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അതിന് കേടാവാതെ എന്നല്ല അത് മുളയ്ക്കുന്നതായിട്ടോ അത് നമുക്ക് കാണാൻ പറ്റില്ല ബട്ട് 
After keeping so many days also, if we put into soil and pour water, it will start to sprout. Well, that's why I'm going to go to the shop. I'm going to go to the shop. I'm going Before many, many, many days, months before a circle. But still, it will not show, show any sign of life in it. What, what, uh, did you get my point? Uh, However, we bring the same seed and plant it in the soil water, it and it turns into which a whole plant. Do sorry, did the seed need food? Did it excrete, grow, or reproduce when it was in the shop or for many months? When it was in the shop, did, we, uh, did it eat food? No. Did it grow? Did it excrete? Did it uh, respire? Did it reproduce? No. It did not do anything. So, we see that there can be cases when we cannot easily say that a thing has all the characteristics that we have discussed for it to be called living. Even though it is living, but still, it does not have to for example, a baby bird. Grace, don't off your video. Now you come. Okay. Push your hand deep inside a sack of wheat. Do you find it is it's warm inside? There is some heat being produced inside the sack of wheat. The seeds respire and in that process we give out some heat. So if you have a sack of uh, um, wheat in your house, put your hands, push your hands inside the sack. Then you can experience some uh, little bit of heat. How it uh, gets heated? A little bit, not so much. How it, uh, the seeds have life in it, but it doesn't uh, show any, any symptoms. So inside the seed, there is a little life you said, it will breathe. That if you breathing will produce. Angel and the body also That breathing will reproduce heat. So, it will produce heat. We see that respiration is a process that takes place in seeds, even when some of this other life process may not be very active. That is why life is very active. That is why we are sunlight. Air, soil, so we can learn the Malayan, other active item, inactive item life for the Nathan. It may not be very easy to answer our question what then is life? However, looking at all the diversity of living beings around us, we can conclude that life is beautiful. Upon life on the Yocha and Nana Maka Pratech and its definition for him, anyway, we can conclude with a point that life is very beautiful. Life will be beautiful. Life will be beautiful. Life will be beautiful. Life is a mystery. Mystery means that we can't find out. We can't find out. We can't find out. We can't find out. Okay, time is up. We will wind up the class. We will continue tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Next Monday. Tomorrow we will have in two periods also English. So tomorrow you take English just book with you. Be ready for the English class. Bye bye then. Thank you, Miss. Bye. Go and have coffee or tea. Thank you, Miss. Yes.